Hello YouTubers and welcome to Deals Prime Review Channel. Today we're running a live NT2X benchmark test for the iOcean X8. And this is the OctaCore phone and uh, we just got this uh, unit in today. And uh, it's powered by uh, OctaCore MTK6592 CPU. It has a 5.7 inch 1080p retina screen with a Gorilla Glass 3. 2GB DDR3 RAM and I believe this is a 16GB ROM model 26,050 2650 uh, battery and uh, some other uh, specs are that it uh, supports quad bed GSM 3GW CDMA 850 and 2100 or uh, 900 and 2100MHz supports AGPS and GPS Wi-Fi wi Bluetooth 4.0 and uh, this is the block model Again, it's a 3G WCMA. While this is running, make sure to like our video. Also, subscribe to the Deals Prime Review channel. And while this is uh, this test is running, we'll just show you some of the accessories. So it does have a, a nice little English quick start guide. Just really simple stuff. And it comes with a free screen protector wall charger and data cable and this is the a pin to, to pull out the sim tray so uh, this is a European style uh, charger and it's a uh, 5 volt 1 amp and uh, if you're in the US it comes with a flat uh, style like this and if you're in uh, Australia or the UK it will come with your country's power plug adapter free only from DSPrime.com and when you order from Deals Prime, we'll include a free uh, flip case. Actually, no, this is just a hard case. So in order to get this hard case, so in the order note section during checkout, ask us to please include the free YouTube promo case. And in order to see the, the order note section, you actually need to uh, register on DealsPrime.com, log into our site, and then check out through our website. So again, this is a nice uh, $8 value. And uh, looks like the specs are in, the, uh, the results are in. So it gets a nice score of uh, 25,915. And it's uh, running again, it's running Android 4.2.2, has a 1.7 gigahertz octa-core CPU, 2 gigabyte DDR3 RAM, and Mali 450 GPU. Let's just check out about our device info. It's an iOcean X8, it's uh, powered by MTK6592 CPU. 14.2 megapixel camera on the back. It does have root access. That does not mean that it comes rooted, though. And this looks like the 32 gigabyte model with uh, just about 25 gigabytes free. 2 gigabyte DDR3 RAM. So, uh, 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution screen with 40 DPI. 5 megapixel camera on the front. This firmware was last updated on April 22nd, so it's really a new, uh, the latest firmware, a new, a new, a new release. And uh, here are some of the sensors that it supports. Okay, so you can pause the video uh, anywhere during the results. And uh, again, this gets a nice score of 25,915. And uh, that's for the o uh, iOcean X8. So we'll actually just continue uh, with this review, show you some of the, the user interface, the uh, icons, and do some, uh, check out the settings, then do some web browsing. Before we uh, continue though, I want to just remind you guys to like our video, also subscribe. So it looks like uh, the specs are pretty much on point for this unit. It says 13 megapixel uh, camera on the back, but the attitude is saying it's 14, so that may be a little upgrade. And uh, looks like everything else is about right. If I move the camera on the front, dual sim standby. Okay, and again, that's on uh, dealsprime.com. And uh, we'll do some more web browsing in a second. So uh, here we, we see that it has a nice little uh, quick access menu, so you can turn on Bluetooth, Wi Fi etc on or off uh, this right here without going into settings 
and uh, here's actually the camera and it's like it's uh, a little, not a little quick window, a nice little window thing. But let's take a picture of uh, my calendar. Okay, so it looks like it is taking pictures. So, uh, nice little uh, 13 megapixel camera. Actually, we'll just uh, go all the way in there and then see if there's any difference. Yes, yeah, so there is a difference when you go into uh, okay, so that looks a lot clearer. So when you do uh, go into uh, when you do go into uh, the actual camera, it is a little bit basically it helps you. You can focus a little bit better. And uh, let's just check out some of the icons. So, browser, app market, calendar, camera, desktop wallpaper, school of drives, download manager, FM radio. Maps, movie studio, messaging. I should just show you the messages. Okay, so silent on it when you touch the key, no no vibration or sound. Phone. So this does also have speakerphone, but there's no uh, there's no sound when you press the uh, when you type in the numbers or press the numbers. Play Store, so it has functional, fully functional uh, Play Store, so you can download free and pay for games and applications. Sound recorder, talk, themes, to-do list, torch, which is actually also a flashlight. And I will make sure to actually show you the build of this phone in a second. Sound recorder, okay, video player, voice search, and uh, the rest is a standard Android 4.2. So let's go into settings real quick. So Bluetooth, storage, so again 32 gigabyte model with uh, about 24 gigabytes free and it's actually 24 plus 4 so about 28 the way that it's partitioned. Check the apps, and again, you can see it at the bottom here the way that it's partitioned 3.7 gigabytes. There, RAM, one gigabyte free, and about oh, one gigabyte used up. Now, here are all the apps. We'll just go through and scroll through all the apps. Okay, there is a link to this uh, iOcean XA inside our YouTube video description, Google Drive, email. FM Radio, Gallery, Play Store, HTML Viewer, Music FX, NRC Service, SIM Toolkit, Sound Recorder, To Do List, Flashlight, and Y GPS. So it does have standalone GPS. And this is check out language and input for our international viewers. So it has multi language. Check out about phone. Okay, so again, uh, here's the firmware version. It was just, uh, last updated on April 22nd. Okay, now uh, before we get into some web browsing, I'll just show you the uh, the build of the phone. And here's the back of the unit. I'm gonna actually get that SIM tray pin out because I want to make sure that it is dual sim. I'm ha I have a feeling that it's, it's going to be a micro and, an, and a nano sim in, in one tray. Yeah it is like there. 
So it basically you can see that there's a nano sim on the on the outer part and then a micro sim inside. So you just pop that in and the tray pops out. Okay, so here you can see there's a, a nano sim place a tray there, and uh, on the other side there's a micro, a nano, a micro sim right here. So na nano and a micro, so it does have dual sim, it's dual standby. Pop that back in. You don't want. It's kind of weird. So we'll just maybe just leave that alone for now. So we'll ask the factory how that what, what what's up with that. Okay, so there's a 13 or 14 megapixel camera here. Supports NFC. And uh here's the IME. And again, this is a black model. The bottom here, we have a micro SD card slot, mic hole, and a micro USB port. And at the top here, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Volume, uh, sorry, a volume up, volume down, power, slash, uh, pause, I mean, uh, sleep. Okay, so we were at a Deals Prime, and uh, we'll just go to some other sites. You can open multiple windows. <laughs> so uh, it's a nice cool little picture there. And again, you can see it has a nice uh, vivid screen. And there are touch buttons here to the left that I'm touching actually when we're doing the web browsing. Okay, so uh, in a nice little octa-core CPU on this, uh, clocking at about 1.7 gigahertz, and uh, I'll just show you the wide viewing angle here again. Okay, guys, well uh, this just about uh, wraps up this review. I want to make sure you guys uh, like our video. Remind you to like our video. Also, subscribe to the Deals Prime Review channel. And there's a link to this product. Would actually, this is actually the mobile site, and it will actually go to uh, the actual site. And uh, there's a link to that inside of our YouTube video description. So uh, remember, if you want the free gift, ask us to please include it inside the order notes section during checkout. And uh, we'll see you next time.